Hi and welcome to another episode of This Little Guy. Um, I would say this is the first episode of the second season. Let's just put it this way. You know in the first season we've covered everything up when it comes to finding the right pinball machine, making, making sure that it's in the right condition and purchasing the pinball machine. Now in this season we will try to cover up as many things as possible when it comes to having the pinball machine at home. So you've just purchased your very first pinball machine, so now you are officially a pinball owner. Hey, that, that deserves a little applause. Come on, applause everybody. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yes, now you have the pinball machine at home. It's already standing where it's supposed to stay for a very, 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 very long time. So, what is the first thing that you have to do after you've just purchased your first pinball machine? Well, I would say the first thing would be changing the batteries of the pinball machine. Because, like I already said in the last video, when the batteries are old, they can break, they can start to leak, or they can start leaking and this can do a lot of serious damage to your pinball machine. So I already showed you where the, pin, uh, where the batteries are located. I already showed you how to open the back box and how to get into the back box. If you haven't seen this video, click on this link to get to the last video so you can watch it again and see how to open the back box. So, the first thing you have to do is replace the batteries. Why? Because when you purchase a pinball machine, most of the times you can't really be sure how long the batteries have already been inside the pinball machine. So it's always wise to replace the batteries. But hold on a second. Before we replace the batteries, let's just talk about why are there batteries inside a pinball machine? I mean, obviously it runs with power from uh, the plug in your wall. So, why do we need batteries? Well, if you have a solid state pinball machine, you can also change a lot of settings. You know, you can make the game harder or easier to play by changing a few settings and rules. You can change it to free play, you can change the numbers of balls that you have per game, you can change how many extra balls you can get, you can change a few rules, you know, stuff like that. And the batteries make sure that all those settings stay even after you've turned off the pinball machine. But I think most importantly, the batteries make sure that all the high scores stay after you've turned off the pinball machine. So. Yeah, the batteries make sure that the high scores are still there. So, um, yeah, let me show you how to replace the batteries and, you know, get a little bit into closer details of this little topic, shall we? Yes, we do. So, here we are inside the back box of this pinball machine. Yes, this is a board that's not original. I, uh, I think the previous owner replaced that board. But yeah, that's what the pinball machine looks like inside. Here we have the board with all the lights. The lights that aren't glowing right now, those are the flashers. They just flash, you know, once in a while. So here we are in the back box of this pinball machine and there you can see those are the batteries that we want to replace. So, first of all, rule number one, if you don't want to lose your settings and if you don't want to lose all your high scores, I mean, considering that you've just purchased this pinball machine, maybe you say you need a little competition so you don't want to lose the high scores of the previous owner. So, if you don't want to lose the high scores, if you don't want to lose the settings, make sure that you always just, uh, that you always replace the batteries only when the pinball machine is turned on. So before you take out the batteries, turn the pinball machine on first. Yeah, I know that sounds a little bit crazy that 
you have to turn on a device in order to replace the batteries but with a pinball machine that's the way it is because if you take out those batteries while the pinball machine is turned off you will automatically lose all the high scores and all the settings will go back to standard settings so yeah always just replace the batteries when the pinball machine is turned on you know so if you search around in some pinball forums and you know anywhere else on the web you will probably find some little helpful guides how to place this battery holder somewhere over here why should we do that well if we put the battery holder if we would if we put the battery holder over there the, and the batteries would break and leak they are just dribbling down here but no battery acid gets onto the circuit boards because that's what we try to achieve here we try to achieve that we don't get any battery acid on the circuit boards because that does a lot of damage and this gets really frustrating and sometimes also really really expensive so yeah you can do that if you want so what else maybe you are uh, one of those eco-friendly environment friendly thinking people and maybe you think hey I want to I want to use rechargeable batteries in my pinball machine well sorry but this doesn't work I mean I don't know all the rechargeable batteries on the market maybe it works with one or two of them but mostly it doesn't work with rechargeable batteries why well as far as I understand I mean I'm not an expert on this but as far as I understand uh, rechargeable batteries are giving out uh, a lower form of power as non rechargeable batteries I, I think you know the power they give out is just a little bit lower and there is a certain amount of power needed in order to hold all the settings to hold all the high scores and stuff like this so that's why it doesn't work with rechargeable batteries that's why some people say rechargeable batteries are an expensive way to reset your high scores so yeah maybe there are some rechargeable batteries that are manufactured so they really give out the same amount of power like non rechargeables but you know I don't know all the brands so now that we know that rechargeable batteries don't work what kind of batteries should we use I mean obviously non rechargeable batteries but what brand well in the pinball scene it's always highly recommended to use Duracell batteries I mean maybe other batteries work as well you know like Varta or Panasonic or Philips or I don't know all the battery brands but Duracell are always highly recommended when it comes to pinball machines because they last pretty long and they don't start leaking that fast I mean obviously we don't want to get one of those battery packs where you get 10 batteries for a dollar or something like this we don't want to go for that stuff so yeah that's it when it comes to uh, to the batteries and replacing the batteries so now let's get into uh, a few settings because there is a little bit more that you should know okay so the next thing you should do after you've replaced the batteries I mean since we have the pinball machine up and running uh, you should go to uh, the menu of the pinball machine then you should go to utilities maybe the names or the menu varies a little bit depending on what kind of a pinball machine you use I mean this obviously is a belly uh, pinball machine so Sega and Stern pinball machines are using a completely different menu so um, yeah but you should go to utilities and there you should go to to this one 
set time and date. This is the next thing you should do. You should always set the correct time and the correct date on your pinball machine. So after we've done this, we go to, um, where is it? I would say adjustments, that's the one. Then I think standard adjustments and there there you go to this one that says show date and time or show di time and date and we want to set this one to yes. So why did we do that? Well, let's see if it works because uh, this Primo machine, yeah. There is a wire missing, so that's why I have to start the pinball machine over again. Yeah, I mean, there is a wire missing, and this little switch on the door isn't uh, connected, so even when the door is closed, it sometimes thinks it's open and stuff like this. So if we set the date and the time, and we set that time and date will show, it means that the date and the time will show once in a while in this attract mode. So after it shows you all the high scores and some nice little informations and animations, there will be a point where it shows you the date and the time. So we just wait for it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Can't take long. <laughs> so there, we have the date and the time. So why did we do this? Or let's say, what is this attract mode that I just talked about? Well, attract mode is basically this right here. Attract mode means the pinball machine is turned on, but there is currently no game running. That's called attract mode. So if we set the date and the time, and we set the settings that date and time will show on in attract mode, why, we, why did we do that? Well, let's see it as some kind of your, your free personal battery tester, you know, because the next question that c pops up is how often should I replace the batteries in my pinball machine? Well, I would say once every two years, you know, depending on what batteries you use. And maybe you say, hey, come on, batteries last a lot longer than just two years. Well, that's true, but, you know, we don't want to take any risk and anything like that. And, I mean, you don't have to throw those batteries away. I mean, you can still use them for your clock or remote control or anything like this. But we don't want to take any risk. And it is always wise to spend a little bit more money on new batteries every once in a while instead of spending a whole lot more money replacing a damaged circuit board. Yeah. So, um, yeah, when it shows the date and the time in the attract mode, this is also some kind of your personal battery tester because if the date and time shows but you can you recognize that the date doesn't match anymore or that the time starts to change and the time is totally wrong and way off or something like this. This is the first sign that the batteries are running low on power. So as soon as you see that the date and the time doesn't match anymore, you know, if it would say, uh, let's say, fourth, and it, it's, it's the fifth or something like this, or if the time isn't correct anymore, that's the first sign that the batteries run out of power and that you have to replace the batteries. Because first the date or the time starts to change, and the next thing that will happen is your high scores will disappear, you know, and we obviously don't want that. So, yeah, that's a little tip, maybe a little quick tip within this episode. So, yeah. Well, that's already it for today's episode. I mean, 
Yeah, it was a little bit long-winded or stuff like that, but I know it's crazy that I just spent almost 10 minutes talking about how to replace batteries. It's stupid, I know, but the thing is this, I, I want to talk about everything that I know. And believe me, I don't know everything. I mean, I wouldn't even call myself an expert when it comes to pinball machines. You know, I'm just a regular owner. You know, but the thing is this, I want to share my knowledge with you. And I also want to make sure that everybody understands what I'm saying. And I want that everybody understands what we are doing and why are we doing certain things. You know, and maybe that's when sometimes it gets a little bit long-winded. But hey, that's, that's just the way it is. I mean, you are the ones who should learn something from those videos, especially when you're totally new to this whole pinball stuff. And I'm doing those videos for you. So you should enjoy those videos. So if there is anything that you don't like on my videos, you can always leave a comment telling me what I should change, what I should do different, or anything like this. But you can also leave a comment if you like those videos. I mean, hey, that's what those comments are for. So, yeah, that's already it for this episode. Um, the next one will follow a little bit quicker than... I know there was a little pause between the last episode and this episode, but maybe that's also because we just started a new season. Yeah. So, um, in my next episode, I think we will talk about how to level and correctly adjust the pinball machine because this is a very, very important thing when it comes to playing and enjoying your pinball machine, that it's correctly adjusted and leveled. So, yeah, that's it for today. Make sure you check out my other videos. I mean, this is just one video, but you know, all the other videos. You can also check out my channel in case you found this video in a different way. So, link is in the description. You can also check out my vlog or my other channel where I currently post a lot of mini disc related videos and stuff like this. So, yeah, feel free to leave a comment and any suggestions, any anything you want. So that's it for today. See you next time. Bye.